Before we start, I want to thank you guys for almost 200 views on the first devlog. That's a lot of people. Unfortunately, we haven't hit the like goal of 15 likes for open sourcing some of the code, so we're going to try again this video. Every video that gets 5 likes means the next video will have a picture of it in the intro. Alright, hey boosters, I'm Nitro. And uh, this is the second devlog of Nitro Sprinter, but today we have a lot to do. And I want to add checkpoints, so checkpoints should be very easy to add, really. Basically, the plan is just add trigger volumes to every single section start. Okay, so yeah, all, all I really got to do is just add a thin trigger volume to the start of every section which is very tall so like this tall right here and uh maybe maybe make it bigger like this so they can't skip over the issue might be that like i want them to respawn here but like the pivot which is the position is right here so they're basically just going to respawn in the air we're gonna we're gonna find out how to <laughs> we're gonna find out how to teleport them to the ground okay i got it how, here's how we're gonna do it when they cross the checkpoint i'm gonna just get the player's position where they touch the checkpoint is going to be saved and every time they respawn they're just going to spawn at that position right, run through just fall and uh for some reason we do look over there is it because okay yeah so you just have to be looking I, I'm gonna change it where you by default look forward. You know, we have a pretty simple respawn and checkpoint system. Can it be better? Maybe. Now we're just gonna copy and paste this. I'll add sound effects and maybe particles too. Yeah, okay, it keeps the momentum. I wonder how much speed I can build. But yeah, we got checkpoints. Ten. Look how old far this is. Okay, we're gonna stop at ten. <laughs> we're gonna stop at ten. And um, before I shuffle them or generate, I'm gonna save because I might have messed up with one of the tags and that might mess everything up. So always name your saves. It's time. Let's see. Yep, all of them are changing. Yes, look at that. A fully generated. Course. Yes, sir. Right, let's run through. Oh. My God. What position is like left and right? Because I can't tell. Okay, so I'm just going to. Alright, it's the first chip. And then up and down is the. S Why did I say chip? I mean, value. I guess XY with. 
the Z, the Z can be the same. Oh my god, what was that one? I spelt it wrong. Okay, let's see if it tracks my movements or attempts to. <gasps> Wait. Yo. And this is how spectating looks. Um, I know it's kind of stuttery and, and buggy, but that's probably an issue with the positions. So in the next devlog, I will be fixing that. All right, boosters. We did a lot this episode, and I'm very proud of that. I want to thank you for um, watching all the way to the end. Uh, if you did, comment the word timer, and you'll be shown at the end of the video um, of the next episode. Unfortunately, um, I'm, a, I'm a little bit tired. You know, I didn't get to the timers and all that. But we did add a simple prototype of spectating all 10 sections and a fully working course if you want to join the discord server join that in the description uh if you want to try out notion the app i use to note take and content manage that's also in the description keep in mind it's a affiliate link meaning if you were to upgrade i get a percentage of that my name's nitro peace out boosters